See? Feeling great, of course, but a little upset because I tried to meet the guy Harry. All the all, all fight, all the fight, but I, I didn't. It makes me upset just a little bit because I charge myself every time to be, you know, no, no mistakes during the fight. Mm -hmm. But do you consider that? Yeah, you made mistakes, or yeah. okay, so like what? Like some details, you know, to to get the position, to don't lose some position, like half guard, like uh, taking his back on the ground, you no know, things like that. Do you feel that every there's a lot of support for you now after what you did to Tom Watson in your return fight? Do you feel that now there's a renewed interest in you and a and an excitement about your return to the UFC? Of course, it's always good for the UFC, and like I'm I'm here fighting the one great card in a great show, UFC 20 years. So I think they are liking my job, you know, and I hope do every 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 single fight better and better. How does that feel for you to be here at the 20th anniversary card, being that you've had two stints in the UFC? Yeah, it's amazing for me. It's really good, especially that I'm the the, the only Brazilian mm -hmm. guy fighting the in the show, so I represent all my country, 200 million of people. So yeah. it's very proud. You've got a five-fight win streak going. Part of that's what brought you back here to the UFC. Uh, what kind of, I guess, momentum would you credit that to, uh, to having that five-fight win streak? I'm sorry, did I didn't understand what you said. Uh, basically, what have you done differently at all? Something in your training to be able to go on that kind of win streak? Yeah, I've been training a lot every single day, trying fixing my mistakes. You know, trying to get more comfortable and more calm during the fights, especially. But she means also that we both team five, Lutadores, Lutadores and Seguida, mm -hmm. you know, wins and victories yeah. in, a, in, a, in a row there. Yeah, yeah, of course, I have two victories in a row yeah. since I'm back to the UFC. And I charge, my, I charge me every time because if I want to be on the top again, I have to be Mitchell like, or, or knock yeah. the guys out, you know. And this is what I'm looking for. But I did my sec, I had my second chance. I won the fight, of mm -hmm. course, it's important, really important. But I have to submit to earn the guys. Does it feel different this t this stay in the UFC? Does it feel different from the first time you were here? Um, you mean 2006? Yeah. Yeah, a lot, a lot. Many many things change. The the show is bigger, you know, and much more fighters, especially in my division, tough fighters, and yeah, it's it is good, it's great, but I have many and many things to learn and grow up in the, in, the, in the show. What do you feel like you learned from the last time that you were in the UFC? From the last, my last fight in... Well, from, from your last stay in the UFC. Okay, okay, well I learned a lot, I'm more confident uh, physically, mentally, mentally I'm strong, you know, in both ways. I'm older too, but it brings me more confidence to everything, you know, it's, it's amazing. I interviewed you in 2010 after a loss actually and you were upset about your conditioning in that fight and you were really mad at yourself. Is that something that you continue to work on after that? Do you feel that your conditioning is where you want it to be these days? Yeah, uh, my condition is way better than the last fight. Actually that that with that that time that we talked yeah. uh, was my mistake because it was one was one five fights uh, five minutes round fights mm -hmm. and I spent all my gas during the three three first rounds. So now it's different. Like I told you, I'm older and mm -hmm. I'm more confident. I'm more relaxing during the fight, and I have to be way more, you know. Mm -hmm. So this is why I'm, I've been working all this time. Let's talk about your team. Who have you been training with? You still with Novo Nyong? Yeah, of course. I always <laughs> be Novo Nyong is my team. Andre Petanier is my coach. It's mm -hmm. like a dad, not only for me but for all uh, all of us from Novo Nyong team. Mm -hmm. We have. Two champions, uh, Renan Barão and Jose Aldo, mm -hmm. and Renan Barão now in February first will take his belt. Well deserved, it, yeah. you know. That's my opinion, of course. His opponent is is great, but this is my opinion. And we have much more guys coming up.